Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about two classes of uh, this phylum Arthropoda. One class is Chilopoda and the second is Diplopoda. And they are very much similar with some distinct differences and that is why we are taking both of them together. So in case of Chilopoda, the example is Centipede. And here the example is millipede. Now centipede and millipede both are worm like arthropods. They have segmented body but there is a distinct difference. We will first talk about the differences. In case of centipede it is a carnivore carnivorous arthropod. They are normally nocturnal and they are fast moving arthropods. They move very fast. The body is divided into head and trunk which is a long segmented structure. The head has compound eyes and a pair of antenna. So the body looks, it is segmented. So we would find these segments. The head is rounded and it has a pair of eyes, compound eyes and a pair of antenna. Now these segments which are there, every segment has paired jointed appendages. But the first segment has jointed appendages which change into a claw like structure. So the first pair changes into claws and then all other segments would have paired structures which are going to be the walking legs. Normally there are about 40, 50 pairs of legs. So it appears as if there are hundreds of legs and that is why the name centipede. Centi is for hundred and pede is poda or legs. They are carnivorous. They have these poisonous claws. These claws are poisonous. So they are very fast moving. They attack because of these uh, poisonous claws. Normally they are nocturnal and the body has head and the segmented trunk. Now if we compare it with millipede, millipedes are herbivores and they are very slow moving animals. The body is divisible into head, thorax and the long trunk or abdomen. Head again has uh, compound eyes and antennae but the segments if we draw the segments this is the head which is going to have these compound eyes and paired antennae. Then this is the thoracic part. The thoracic region has three segments. And from these three thoracic segments arise one pair of walking legs. So thoracic segments have only one pair. Each segment has only one pair. This is the thorax. One pair of legs per segment. And then there are abdominal segments. So if we draw these segments here, these are the segments which are in the abdominal region. Normally 40 to 70 segments are there and each segment now has two pairs of walking legs. So every segment is going to have two pairs. So two here, two here. This is again two pairs 
every segment would have these two pairs of walking legs and these legs are jointed again so arthropod means they have jointed appendages but because the body has many 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 legs it appears as if there are millions of legs and that is why the name is millipede here the number of legs are less because the segments are less and every segment has only one pair whereas here the segments are also more and the number of legs per segments are also more so here it appears as if it has millions of legs and so the name it is herbivorous it is not having any poisonous claw so it defends by secreting some foul smelling substance through its stink glands it defends by producing a foul smelling substance through its stink glands and it also has one more uh, feature <coughs> by which it defends if it is irritated it makes a tight coil it would coil like this around itself and the coil is so tight that even if we, we try to open it this won't open and once that uh, the structure or the animal which is attacking it is gone then only it is going to open its body itself so here for defense either the stinking substance is one uh, method or making a tight coil whereas in case of centipede it has an attacking uh, mode it has these poisonous claws so these poisonous claws in centipede are nothing but the modified first pair of legs and in this case as there are no such poisonous claws they have some other methods of defending themselves the common things in both these that is in case of centipedes and uh, millipedes or in these two classes is that they have tracheary system for respiration and second is again which is going to be common that is malpighian tubules for excretion so these features are common for both the classes but in the differences are the number of legs per segment that is one thing which is different body segmentation of body uh, parts are different here it is only head and trunk whereas here it is head thorax and abdomen plus one is a carnivore other is a herbivore this has poisonous claws whereas it has other methods of defending itself and that is why we talk about these two classes together because they have ma many features which are similar now in the next part we will take up the next class of the phylum arthropoda